Hey everyone, Han for the win here, and in today's video I'm going to take a look at the GoXLR and how the new software update allows you to use it with the Stream Deck. All of this coming right up. So the first thing you want to do is get the GoXLR software up and running, and then go to Software Update. It'll then do a check for update. If you need updating, it'll auto download the latest version of the software. It'll then prompt you if you want to install the Stream Deck plugins. Click yes to those. And also it'll then prompt you for a firewall change update as well. Click yes to that. Now, the other thing to note here is that my setup is I've got the GoXLR on my streaming PC, which is the same PC that has the Stream Deck. Now, if you're running a two PC setup and your Stream Deck is on your gaming PC, there is another option that you need to check out. So under global settings, there's a little checkbox here that says Stream Deck on non GoXLR PC. So you'll want to check that. And I think that's probably why the firewall rule change is prompted. It's just so your PC can talk across the network to your other PC. So if the software update complete, if you now open the Stream Deck software and have a look at custom, you should have two new GoXLR plugins, one for profile changes and one for the routing table changes. So if, for example, I drag over a profile change to here, you'll see it comes up with a list of the same profiles that are available on the GoXLR here. So what I'll do, for example, I'll just pick sleep and you can give it a title of whatever you want. So let's call it sleep. And now if we click this button, you'll see it's now ticked the sleep profile. So now you've got a really easy way of switching between your profiles. So I can now turn the lights off or go back to the VR profile. So what this means you can do is you can combine some of the Stream Deck multi-action switches so that you could change scene and switch to a profile that you've already got set up. So just a reminder for profiles, if you're not too sure what they are, what this basically does is it memorizes all your mixer settings uh, apart from the microphone. So such as the sample selection that you've got on the board, the routing table configuration, and the effects that you've got set up. So being able to switch profiles is really handy to be able to do it on the fly. Previously, you had to use the profile uh, GUI and use your mouse to click. Now we've got a way to do it via a button, which is much better. I was hoping there would be a keybind option, and I think that's on its way, but something is definitely better than nothing, and I think this is a great way of being able to switch profiles whilst you're streaming. So. I'll now talk about the other plugin, which is probably my favorite, which is the GoXLR routing table change plugin. So what this allows you to do is turn on and off any of the input to output mappings on the GoXLR routing table. So if you're not sure what this is, I'll leave a link to my previous video that explains how this works. Um, essentially what it does, it'll route any of these inputs to a particular output. So on this example here, you can see under headphones, I've got chat, and music so I can hear Discord and the music playing through the headphones. Uh, typically, if you want to be able to monitor the volume of your microphone, you'd have mic ticked. So in order to change this in real time, previously you'd have to use the app. Now we can use the microphone toggle button here on the Stream Deck. So just by pressing it on and off, you can see it turns on and off there. So I'll just set up a new one just so you can see what the process is, it's super easy. So you just drag the button onto the GUI and then you select an input. All of the inputs here reflect the inputs here on the routing table. So for example, we'll pick mic and then we'll select an output. So I don't know, we'll, we'll pick chat mic as the output, which would be Discord. And then you can select an action, which is either always turn on, always turn off or toggle which is essentially flip the mode to on or off depending on its current state. So we'll, we'll pick toggle. So now if we press the button here, we can see it toggles on and off. So one of the cool things of using the routing table plugin for the Stream Deck is that it now gives you great control over what you can mute. So previously, if we look here at my voice chat, which is Discord, the mute button, you can only assign it to one action and I've currently got that to mute all. 
Um, you can obviously pick different functions to that one button, but then it means you lose either mute all or some of the other um, channels you can mute to. So by setting it up manually, it now means you could pick which of the different outputs you may want to mute to. And you can obviously use it for any of the other uh, routing options. So for example, if you want to mute the uh, music to your broadcast mix, but you still want to hear it, you could quite easily set up a toggle button for that. So overall, I think this is a great update. I think they definitely need to get the toggle image working. Otherwise it will be a bit tricky to remember which way you've actually got the routing table toggled. Uh, I think the profiles is great and I'll be using that between my scene switches. So a definite a thumbs up from me, but with room for improvement. Just some other updates that have been applied to the GoXLR since my first review. It's worth checking out the mix now. If we scroll over to headphones, we've now got a mic monitor available. So this allows you to reduce the monitoring level of the microphone if you've got it ticked in the routing table as shown before. So that's quite a nice feature that they've added. Also under mic, if we go to equalizer, they've now added a full equalizer option here. So whilst we've got the Stream Deck software open, I'll just show you another feature, which is actually more for the Stream Deck, but handy for handling lots of samples. So in my previous video, I said how you can assign samples to the, the sample board here, and you essentially have to remember what they are for that profile based on the color. What's quite handy now with Stream Deck is there is a soundboard option. And if I just show you an example of playing audio, so I'll drag it onto here and I'll click on files. Now I've got this set up to look at my GoXLR sample folder. So this could be something that you've just recorded. Uh, and let's pick a Arnie clip here of Hasta La Vista. Click open. And then you can toggle the action here. So it'll be either play, stop, play overlap, play restart or loop. So I'll just leave it on play stop. You can set the volume here, which is quite nice. But the, the key difference is they've added output to the uh, drop down here. And I think this has been available probably for about six months or so now, it could be a bit less. But the key thing is if you pick sample, this will output to the sampler channel on the GoXLR mixer. So if we just close that there and we press the button here. Hasta la vista, baby. This is now going through the sampler channel on the, the GoXLR. So this is quite a neat way of having lots of samples organized on your stream deck and you can play them through the sampler channel. Okay, everyone, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button below. Also, if you want to know more about the GoXLR, check out my other videos. I'll leave a link in the top left corner. If you've got any questions, pop them in the comments. Better still, why not check out our Discord community server? We've got other people on there that play VR and also use the GoXLR. So if you've got any questions and I'm not around, maybe someone on there can also help. All right, until next time, bye for now.